Man, my pockets got nine, so I'ma need me in my suits Man, they already know my name, I don't need to introduce I'll be rhyming like I'm Zeus, bring the thunder like I'm Zeus We can hang like a noose, then you Koi Larey, the 24-year-old big trendsetter as she calls herself. But if you know anything about Koi Larey and her music, then you know that she is probably the most hated artist out right now in the rap scene. From people saying that she had the worst XXL freestyle in history, after she basically stopped rapping and just started twerking. Yeah, bitch, you gonna get money, let's go. Ay. We all the money, hey, sorry. Then to the many viral clips of people just standing around at her shows while she performs. And then also all of the body shaming tweets and jokes about her online. So while Koi Larey is basically the punching bag right now in the industry, with new memes and jokes about her getting posted every single day, in this video I'm going to discuss, is Koi Larey over hated? <laughs> So Koi Larey only started to really blow up here in this year, 2021. After, as I mentioned, she was named to the 2021 XXL freshman list. And during her freestyle, like I already said, she stopped rapping and just started twerking instead. And this XXL freestyle would really be the start of all this hate she would begin receiving. So before double XL, I would say it was more like on the I love you stage. Now I dropped this double XL shit, it's like kind of like the hate's coming back again. Then just a few months later, she would go viral again after her set at Rolling Loud, but again not for good reasons, as some clips showed that the crowd basically just stood still and didn't move at all during her performance, as she danced and again twerked on stage. We gon' get this cake, don't give a fuck what they say, and my body's like, bitch, we made it. And then it seemed like this kind of became a trend at her shows, and she would go viral a few more times just with clips of the crowd during her performances, again acting like zombies. And one guy even was pretending to sleep during her set. <laughs> And then came all the body shaming tweets and memes, with people making fun of how thin she is, how her hair looks, and how she dresses, with one person saying she dresses like a subway surfer. And while I'll admit that that tweet is kind of funny, all of the other actual body shaming stuff isn't. But all of that would also lead to Koi Larey actually responding on Twitter, saying, My body is always trending. I don't understand. In the Bible, is it a sin to be thin? Help me understand. Which then brings us to the first point I want to make. Whether you think that Koi Larey is overhated or not, she has to stop responding to the haters. As those tweets weren't the first, and definitely not the last time that Koi Larey responded to the hate online. As she also responded to the dead crowd memes, the XXL freestyle stuff, and then all the body shaming. And it wasn't just a tweet here and there, but she's had multiple times now where she's had these kind of breakdowns, and really showed that these haters and trolls are getting to her. Saying things like, Feel like y'all trying to kill me. The love used to outweigh the hate, but now the hate outweigh the love. It's slowly destroying me. I guess this is my karma. Whatever I did, God, please forgive me. I'm tired of being bullied. Which stuff like that is really just going to encourage these people to continue to hate more and more. As these trolls are getting exactly what they want. Which is to get a response from her and see that it's really affecting her. And so then how do you not let that stuff bother you or does it bother you sometimes it bothers the shit out of me i mean i'm human but at the same time i surround myself with good people so before i could even let it get that far of messing my mental up i got people that'll come in and remind me like yo bro this is what you signed up for you know it's only gonna get worse they talking about something now you're gonna be here for five years they're gonna talk about something in five years I think as a rapper, you definitely have to have very thick skin and you need to learn how to ignore people who just like to hate online. Because again, as I just mentioned, once they see that it's actually working, they are just going to continue to do it more. But if you just ignore it and don't give it any response, then eventually it will pass and people will move on to something else to hate. So do I think that Koi Larey is overhated? To be honest, yes, I do think that Koi Larey is overhated. 
There's a difference between just not liking her music and not being a fan of her, and then to going completely out of your way every single day to try to bring her down as much as possible, and going to these extreme measures to do so. But if I'm also being honest, I think Coyle Ray brings a lot of the hate on herself. Besides again playing into all the hate and the trolls online by constantly responding to them and letting people see that it really gets to her, I also think the way that she acts makes it very easy to hate on her. From just randomly twerking, to calling herself the big trendsetter. I tend to go viral a lot, you know? I live by my name, Big Trendsetter. That's like something. Shout out to all my big trendsetters out there. And just the way she talks and acts makes it pretty easy to hate on her. Wow, right. you can really die. You know, I'm just like, you know, you feel me? Like, you can bring it out of me, I'm like, <laughs> making it clap. But that's also her personality and just who she is. So I don't want to say that she needs to change that for the internet. But again, I just think she makes herself such an easy target for all this hate. But another thing that I want to point out and something that I find pretty interesting is that so many big artists in the industry show her lots of love. As she already has songs with Pooh Shiesty, Lil Durk, who actually brought her on tour with him and Lil Baby as one of the openers, and is clearly not afraid to show her love, and then the Twin and M remix featuring DaBaby also just recently dropped. Which while I'll say that I myself am not a big fan of her music, I will admit that Twin and M is pretty fire and I've had it in my rotation since it came out. But I also think it's kind of more of a pop song than rap. Now we realize, like, I've just been in the studio so much and it comes down to, like, I'm, I'm officially a pop star. Mm. Yeah. But also, besides those artists, J. Cole has also shown Koi Ray love, as well as Nicki Minaj, who was quick to come to her defense after some of her tweets about the crowd stuff. Responding, don't do that. Chin up. Those people were on their feet. That means they may not have known the song, but they were interested in getting to know more. Charge it to the game and move on. As well as Polo G, who would also tweet, That's always how it be when you first coming up. Block that shit out and keep going crazy, you got it. And then also Justin Bieber, one of the biggest artists in the world, would also link up with Coyle Ray. And who knows if they have a collab on the way, but they did shoot some TikToks. You would think that once people started seeing that, okay, all these big established artists rock with her and support her, then maybe she's for real and we should lay off the hate a little. But again, the sad truth is that people just like to hate. And when it comes to Koi Ray, again, I think she is a little overhated, but I would say she needs to continue to work on just ignoring all of it and just continue to focus on herself and her music. So that'll do it for this video on Koi Ray. If you haven't yet, please do me a favor and drop a like for me. And also be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay tuned for new videos every week. I also wanted to mention that I finally started an Instagram page for the channel. So be sure to also check that out as well. Uh, it was like Ray Charles didn't see my vision. Only need one shot, don't need no provision. Man, I don't need no permission. When I'm whipping in the kitchen, when I'm scraping all these bowls, it is like I'm doing dishes. I ain't worried about that girl, could have seen got lots of fishes. I ain't really read the terms or agree to those conditions. I ain't really come from rags, but I'm